The place we're getting our cats from is called Our Community Cat Rescue. The lady came out and took a look at her structure and had a few suggestions for improvements. So if anybody's been watching our videos for a while, you'll know that Wendy is in charge of picking out our animals. And for these cats, she's decided to go with rescued feral cats because we want them to eventually be very independent outdoor cats that will be especially good at deterring the rodents and pests around here. The place we're getting our cats from is called Our Community Cat Rescue. The lady came out and took a look at her structure and had a few suggestions for improvements. I'm very glad that I hadn't put up the siding on the sides yet. I had kind of had that in the back of my mind that I'd need to put the panels up to protect it from uh, rain coming in from the side. It's a fairly small roof for the size of the structure, but I would not have built those panels to come all the way to the very, very top with notches around all of these little beams, because it's a lot of work to do that. Feral cats are going to have to be locked in here for a good period of time so that they'll know that this is their territory and they're not supposed to run away. So, one of the primary objectives of this structure is containing cats that will really want to get out. I didn't know this before, but evidently, anything a cat can shove its head through, it can pretty much get its, the rest of its body through. So I've had to use the panels in a really tight pattern to really cinch all that up. <clears throat> All right, so we've got a slight design modification because cats really like to feel a little contained and secure. We're going to put uh, back panels and a roof on these shelves so when they're up here they can uh, just feel a little more comfortable. Plus it'll be nice, there'll be an extra, extra shelf for them to, to get up on if they want to as well. Stay tuned, at the end of this video, we'll have a humorous outtake from phase one of building this cat shelter. time to kind of explain how I've been doing this cat house with the panels. I spend my time fine-tuning the exact patterns with cardboard. You know, put them in place and make adjustments. 
that way I can just set it on the on the panels line it out with tape trim it and it, it's a lot easier that way don't have to make mistakes on the expensive panels we can make the mistakes on the cardboard These are just easy straight cuts for, uh, for these right now, so it shouldn't take too long. So I've, I've cut the panels and I've pl placed them roughly where they're going to be. Now I just have to screw them together. As always, when you're working with these plastic panels, you want to use screws with these little rubber gaskets. I won't make you watch me putting in the rest of the screws, it's pretty repetitive. Maybe you're wondering why I'm going with some opaque and some clear panels. I thought it'd be nice to be able to see the cats in the shelter, but also give them a little sense of security and a place to hide if they, if they feel like they need to do that. Plus, it kind of breaks up the aesthetics, makes it a little more interesting than just a big gray or a big clear box. Out here on the deck with our big trees growing all around, it's also kind of nice to have these sort of vertical elements to just kind of blend in a little bit more with the surroundings. And this is what it looks like when we batten down the hatches.
All right. I'm inside now for a cat's eye view. Another suggestion from the cat rescue for acclimating feral cats to a new home is to cover their uh, shelter with a tarp so they can't see out to know to escape. So for the time being, we'll have this brand new cat house covered by a big ugly blue tarp on our deck. All right, so probably be easiest to uh... I built it back there. <laughs> maybe. Okay, look at your side. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe if we uh, maybe if we t tip it so that you can walk inside the uh, structure. Would that help? Because the, the sides the side mesh isn't on the other way. But then it would be awkwardly placed because you're tipping it so that I can't walk in the middle. So then you could stand inside like this and lift it. Want to try that? I think that makes sense. All right. Do we want to uh, turn the fence off? Well, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get through here because of those. Okay, let's back up. Let's back up, back up and set it down. Let me get inside and I'll try and lift it up. Set it on the, on the gate. Right. I'm not quite <laughs> too tall. Okay, I got it. I'm on the deck now so I can I can have it up. Alright, now, now get it down from here. Here, we just walk it over. Well, that's easier said than done. I can't touch the top. That's okay, I got it. I I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. You just direct. Okay, now let's come down slowly. Slowly. Because I'm, I'm at a weird spot. I need to get. Okay. Okay. All right. Now let's just let's just tip it up, right? Okay. Come on out. Good. Boy, that door makes it a lot heavier. <laughs> I don't think so. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna leave it out in the middle, so tomorrow I can have access to walk around it and work on it. Thank you for your help.